What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Guys, I'm going to go back to uh, the Saturn moon of Enceladus. Um, I think I call it Enceladus or Enceladus or some weird name when I first did this video because it was called Enceladus, Saturn's moon has proof of life. And I believe, I, drew, I make a strong argument that these uh, so-called vapor or, you know, uh, ice crystal plumes are actually like intelligently made lights um now if anybody hasn't watched that because i know there's a lot of newcomers i'm going to go back over and i'm going to cover that because again i was kind of beat up about it you know uh, you know people are saying well you don't know what you're talking about because you know the sun obviously is hiding or not hiding but it's actually reflecting off these ice crystals therefore you see what looks like it almost kind of looks like a beam of light and to some extent they're correct okay but my biggest argument, now you can see right here, you can see where this is supposed to be the south pole or the solar region, or the, uh, I should say the south region, my bad, um, of this uh, Enceladus moon. So, you know, when you look right here, you can see it's in the southeast. We're going to call this the south, so we're going to call this south, southeast right here. The sun, now either the sun is showing directly on this or it's coming off of Saturn. It's reflecting off of Saturn, and there you go. You're getting that, you know, reflection. Okay. My argument wasn't that this was not plumes or, or vapors, although it was to a certain degree. My argument, and I'm going to show you a bigger picture of this. Um, well, let's go to this first before I even start that. This is this is what he called. This is Old Faithful, you know, in Yellowstone Park right here. Okay. Um, and you can see, like, different pictures of it. You know, see how it's coming out, so on and so forth. And you can see how it's, you know, just how it's, like, shooting out in every direction because of the pressure. Now, you can see right here... This is uh, Old Faithful right here. Now, you can see how it's like perfectly coming right out, okay, because of the pressure. Makes sense. And then it's coming back down as vapor or just, you know, like a mist, you know, back down to Earth because of the gravity. Okay, what would happen if it didn't do that? Let's suppose there was no gravity. My argument is that it comes out like this, and then as it's going out into space, it would just kind of spread out, right? At least that's my thinking. There's very little... Uh, uh, gravitational pull. I think it was like 0.0311 G as opposed to 9.77 that's here on Earth. Um, so there's barely any kind of gravitational pull. Okay. So basically what's happening on, on Enceladus is that it's coming up and it's turning into like a snow, like a, like a, like crystals kind of just falling back. You just, and the people's argument is you can't see it because it's so far away from this moon. Okay. Let's go with that. So, Again, you can see as these vapors are coming out, shooting out of here. My biggest argument, and somehow they still didn't grasp this, my argument wasn't, I said, look, on the other picture here, I'm sorry, this one here, you can see, well, this wasn't the one I did. It wasn't exactly the one. I'm going to show you this right here. This is, I think it's, I just had it upside down. I just rotated it. Um, but anyway, okay, okay, so you get the southeast, sun is brightest or at least the light is sun because uh, i don't know if it's direct or from the planet uh saturn so i don't know doesn't matter to me my biggest argument this one i get why is this one to the left only the left with almost no sunlight compared to this one why is this one just as bright and somehow they didn't grasp that they're saying no 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 you don't understand it's bright because it's brightest at the base because that's where most of the uh where it's ejecting from and i have no argument with that i have an argument if that if if this if the sun is here and it's barely shining here, why is this one just as bright as that one? In fact, it looks like to a certain degree it looks like it's brighter. Maybe because it's darker in this area. I don't know. But why is it as bright as that one? And so is the middle one. So I'm wondering now: is this light, supposed sunlight, is that actually over enhanced? Is it exaggerated? And we know NASA would never do that. But okay. So then again, there's that picture, and here's this picture here. Okay, I'm going to show you something wild about this one in a minute. But, okay, so again, my, my argument is simply this. If the light's here and there's the least amount of sunlight on this side, on the left-hand side of the picture, why is this one just as bright? It makes no sense, especially at the base of it. I contend that these are actually lights. They're high-powered lights. For what reason? I don't know. You can actually see them all in here inside these crevices, supposedly where it's not as bright. Now, if it's coming up this way... Why does it look like it's hidden like it's in a valley here? See how like you just see these one, two, three, four, five, and there's a couple others shining? And you can see them all along in here? Okay. If you look 
really good here. You can see this right here, too. You see almost like little lines. There's lines and looks like different shapes and everything. I don't know what that is, but that's not why I was doing this video. Now, um, let me jump into Photoshop. And I'm going to show you this. Again, like I said, I don't know why um, they, they don't understand what I'm getting at as far as the brightness here. Now, so this is what I did. I automatically try to equalize this. So it'll, you know, bring down this brightness here on the right and it'll raise the brightness up here on the left. Now let's see what, what happens when I do that. Let me just back it out a little bit. Okay, so it kind of does. But now here's, here's what I'm, this is what's crazy. Why does this look perfect now? Now I know I equalize it. People say, well, you just equalize it. But it's been like that anyway. If you notice, they're already pretty much equal in brightness, even though this light's here. Okay, so now I did this. And like I said, when it came to the geyser, like I showed you over Faithful, why doesn't it, while it's coming out, I understand the pressure coming out if this is in fact vapors. And guys, I'm no astrophysicist, I'm no major scientist, but I was, which was my, my best classes with science and math. But, you know, I'm still, I'm just bringing this to you guys because I want your take on it now. Um, because I did this video already, and to me, this looks like artificial lights as opposed to vapors. Again, let me continue on what I was saying, was that, if you look at these, like these are like perfect coming straight out. There is no, why don't you see this going like this? Okay, coming out of here, I get, because it's the pressure coming out of, it's the, uh, you know, ejecting out of the moon, makes sense. It'll be like nice and sharp coming out. And now it does widen a little bit when it comes out to here. Why doesn't it turn into like a, as many as jets as there is shooting out of this, why isn't it like a big cloud here? Like, like they just come out and because it's little to no uh, gravity, I don't expect to see it falling down, but you expect it to kind of like come out and then just kind of fall apart and just kind of just drift. You don't see that. It's perfect light. Now watch this. I'm going to dim this and bring this down a bit and see what we can make out of this. If we can get it to move, that is. Um, okay, so I brought it down a little bit just, just to see. Okay, but you can see these perfect lights coming straight out of this. Now watch this. Shopping it up. These things keep going, man. It doesn't fall apart. Even this one almost looks like a... Well, if you, if you, if you were driving along in a foggy road and you hit your high beams what would happen well you get reflecting back to you because of the fog but you'd also see like a beam coming out and you'd see it like spread out like a regular headlight now i'm not saying that's what this is i'm just saying as far as a light is characteristics of a bright light in fog or uh something like that or even in the darkness you would see a, a, the major main beam and you'd see a light coming out of the sides you know if, it, if it's got some kind of reflector behind it um which most beam lights do um unless of course it's a lantern of some sort whatever but anyway, you get the idea. I mean, look at the way these things are coming down. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't even, like, just kind of drift off after it's come away from the gravitational pull. It just keeps completely straight. Now, they do get wider, which makes sense. Any light, projecting light will do that. Uh, unless, of course, it's a laser beam. Then that makes sense. But so here you are right here. And, I mean, you can just see. I mean, this one here that I'm going to show you, this is just nuts. But that's that picture there. Let me see what we got here. This is not going to move on me. It's going to just play games. I don't know if my mouse, the batteries are going or what it is. Um, but anyway, so these look to me like lights. Okay, let me jump into the other one. Excuse me. <coughs> All right, this one here had me a little puzzled. Again, with the lights, and you can see how bright they are, okay? Now, again, I tried to equalize to bring this right corner down. In fact, I want to use this hand here real quick. To bring this area down on the lower right, bring that, tone that down. And bring up the left. A little puzzling. Why is this black going up like this? Well, I say, what's well, the shadow? Well, then why don't you just see it go like this, like just straight out? Because you can see, why doesn't it just go straight out? It doesn't do that. But let's do this. Let me equalize it and watch what happens. It doesn't get any brighter. This tones down, but this doesn't get any brighter. Why? This has been manipulated. If you notice, this background does actually change. Watch. That actually equalizes. These are bright, these are dim. Well, let's equalize it. Well, now you can almost see they're almost the same brightness, but they're off in the background. And now you don't see that super bright area. I don't believe, I believe this is over-exaggerated light to make it look like the sunlight. I don't believe that is at all. And again, I'm just speculating, guys. Don't hold me to it. Um, but this is another crazy part about this. Now, I tone this down a little bit. And you can see, just to try to bring it down and see if we can make this out a little bit. Check this out. I'm going to go step back. There's even lights here that do this. Check this out. One here going out this way, one crisscrossing. 
And look at the way these go off perfect, almost perfectly straight. Okay? Now, this was kind of weird because it looked like a cigar-shaped UFO right there. Check that out. Now, this is traveling. You can see like a blur behind it. But this one here looks like it's traveling slow and it's got this... See the way that looks? Is that crazy or what? It looks like a cigar-shaped UFO. Look at that. Anyway, so now here's my other argument, and especially with this picture. I'm contending that this is light for this simple reason. Why are we seeing a rectangular shadow over this otherwise round moon? It has a nice round radius and it has its curvature. Why are we seeing a rectangle-looking structure? Well, not structure, but shadow. Well, let's look in the beginning. Let's look in the front. If this is, in fact, if my argument is correct and this is light, this makes sense. You can see on the ground here, it looks like something very low to the ground or to the surface, and it looks rectangular. If these are, in fact, lights, and I'm using a big if, if they are in front of this, then they would be casting a shadow behind it. Now, is it possible they're both lights and vapors? Because then you'd have, like, if you had a foggy day, you can literally project a shadow onto it. So... My argument is if this is maybe some kind of weird structure, because you can just see it running right along here, and these lights are on this side of it, then they're gonna, their light is going to project a shadow behind it. And if you look, if you actually see it looks like there's light behind the shadow. So I don't, I don't know what to make of this. It's just crazy to me. It just, I don't know. And like I said, I'm doing this to get your take on it this time, guys, because like I said, I got a little beat up last time about it, and people were like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Look, I read all the BS that NASA talks about how it's it's snowing. It's actually snowing. It's going back down as snow, and it's snowing on the moon. Uh, all this other crazy stuff. I've read all that. Does it mean that they're, that they're absolutely on the up and up? Are they being true? Is it nothing but a bunch of BS to snow, excuse the pun, us into believing that's what it is, if, if it's actually snow? Um, here's another one of something right there. I don't know what that is up at the top. It might be just things just flying along, cruising past this moon. But that there was kind of... I don't see like a blur behind it, so I don't know what that is. But um, anyway, so so now I'm thinking, okay, so if this is if this was actually a plume of vapors or ice particles, water vapor, call it what you want, it's supposed to be negative 200 degrees. Um, and if that is in fact that, okay, then it wouldn't be casting a shadow. My argument is that if this was actually light, let's go back to the original. If this is actually the sunlight shining on this water vapor and all of these ice crystals are reflecting and that's how you're seeing this light okay why aren't you seeing v-shaped shadows instead i don't know if that makes sense to you guys but if this these will actually reflect the light therefore having a shadow in the background i've seen this happen you can do this with a, a sprinkler you can uh, you know uh, have a light on one side of your yard in your in the backyard and have a sprinkler going, you'll see a shadow from that water. If it's good size, you know, if it's thrown off enough water, you'll see a shadow behind that. Um, so, yeah. And so I'm thinking to myself, okay, if this is, in fact, if this is water vapors, you should see shadows of, of V-shaped uh, uh, ice particles. And that's not what I'm seeing at all. I'm not seeing that at all. Um, so you guys weigh in. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is artificial light. I think this is intelligently made light. There's no reason why there should be a rectangular shadow or whatever this is. This, to me, looks like this is whatever this is. This structure, who knows, maybe it's part of the uh, the landscape of this moon. But it just seems a little odd how it almost has a perfect rectangular... Uh, look, you can see like one, like a darker one, and then a lighter one. Like there's multiple lights casting the shadow... And that's what we're seeing. Like the lower ones are showing the dark ones right here. And then the, the ones that might be slightly over are showing, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this thing. But I've done this video last time. And it just it looks like there's structures here. These look like artificial lights. And again, I'm going to sharpen this up and check that out. Look at the way these are like almost perfect. Like this one's almost like a laser beam for crying out loud. And you can see these like going off in different directions. Now, I'm not saying, of course, you know, any, you know, uh... Anything that's being, you know, pressured outside this moon is going to go in any direction. It depends on the hole in the, in the actual surface. So, yeah. Um, so, anything being ejected can go out any different direction. I get that. But it's just like this one. Where's this one again? Well, you can see it just faintly, but it's right there. There's one going off this way, and the other one's crisscrossing it. See it? Okay. So, I don't know, guys. You, you give me a take on it. I just, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out why these look almost... You don't see it like this kind of... 
just going off like I would think it would go like this and just kind of just go off and there's like this big plume kind of thing off and there's so many if this is in fact vapor all that is emitting it you would think it'd just be like a big cloud here as opposed to all of this and from this here I'm not seeing it it looks like a bunch of lights you guys weigh in you guys tell me what you think it is uh, I would love to hear it because like I said I know there's a lot of new people on board and I'd love to get your take on it um, if it's just water vapor I'm cool with that I question it and I wonder why it looks that way and why it looks so much more like lights as opposed to water vapor. Um, you guys let me know. Tell me what you think. I think I did it on this one as well. Right here. Like I said, you guys weigh in. This is the reason why I redid this one so you guys could weigh in on this one this time um, and let me know what you guys think. Again, look at this. It's just like, and this looks like a characteristic of a regular high beam light. Uh, any like high powered light it would do that it would just it's always going to be narrow at the actual source before it comes out but i don't see this thing like just like you just see it going like this and just blowing up like a big balloon or like a big cloud because there's so many uh, so much stuff being ejected from this moon you think it would be a whole cloud like type form out here and i don't see that i just see it just a bunch of light that's all i'm seeing you guys weigh in if you want i'm going to give you the link in fact i'll leave the link for my older video uh, let me know what you guys think. It didn't come out really good quality because at the time I was using a different, uh, you know, video uh, captioning software. Uh, uh, it was my buddy Christian that turned me on to this, uh, this new one here. Well, uh, Photoshop because I was using, I think it was GIMP 2.8, which is not a bad starter one. But when it comes to lights and stuff like this on there, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't play very well with different contrasts like this here. It just doesn't. But um, anyway... You guys give me your take on it. I wanted to do that and show you another aspect. And besides bring it up again due to the fact that there is a lot more of you guys on board. So I want you guys to weigh in and let me know what you think about this. Is it, is it nothing but water vapor? Is it, um, is it uh, something more than that? I believe it's artificial light. And like I said, my argument is simply this. I believe this is over-exaggerated. Just like this. If you were to balance this, like I did on this one, you can see this dims out. And I did darken this anyway. I just, you know, kind of, I use my, uh, not the blur tool, but the burn tool on this here um, to do that. So I can bring this down so it wouldn't be so bright. But you can see how this still looks, this still looks uh, uniformed as far as brightness-wise. All of these right here, they all look the same brightness, regardless of this bright light here. Um, I think it's like faint sunshine. And they just over-exaggerated to make it look like, oh, yeah, it's definitely water vapor. Um, am I right? Am I wrong? I'll go either way. I'm just, I just want to bring this to your attention and we can see, uh, again, this one doesn't uh, equalize. It tones down here, but it doesn't get brighter here. And you can see this, yeah. I don't know, guys. Uh, and again, what's with the shadow here? You guys weigh in. Let me know what you think. Always curious. I always love you guys when you when you comment and tell me what you guys think and weigh in. We all learn something here. I don't know it all. Like I said, I'm no astrophysicist. I'm no major scientist. But I do know, a, a, you know, even if you were to push all of that out the window for a moment, let's just throw some common sense into it. You know, and uh, common sense would tell you if you look at different angles, something doesn't make sense. Now, you know, that's all up to us to figure it out. That's what this channel is all about. Anyway, guys, and like I said, all the newcomers, I'm glad you guys jumped on board. Um, you can go to my home channel, look at the bottom, and see the channels I support. You can check out any one of those. These guys are all doing good jobs as far as I'm concerned. Um, they all have their own different knack of the way they do their, their channels and how they bring out the anomalies. But the bottom line is they're bringing them out. And those are the people I support. So check them out as well. Give them some love. Um, with that, guys, always appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment down below. Share this video. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video.